back to what I was coming on here for. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update about uh, the TanaCon thing. And it's so funny. I, I know that people don't care anymore. I'm aware. It's been like two days. I, I get it. People are like, next, like moving on. Um, for some reason, I like can't. I'm like losing my mind over it. I've been um, really emotional um, all day. I've been like spiraling a lot and just watching just hours and hours of videos from people who were there and like watching them talk about it, like putting um, putting faces to it, if that makes sense. Like you hear the words like, you know, fucking 20,000 people came and then they left and they were pissed. And you're like, okay, like that's, that's crazy. But when you actually see it um, and you, hi Ricky. <laughs> I know, Ricky, I'm, yeah, I feel like you feel very similar to how I'm feeling right now. When you actually see it and you see, um, and you hear their stories and, and they're real people who like, like some of them flew in, you know, some of them drove so far, they spent so much money on hotels and like one girl I talked to, like flew there and she spent so much money that she didn't have to make it work and then she stayed there all day and of course it was canceled and she just had to go right back home and it's just like fuck like that's a person that's one person and if there really were thousands and thousands of people they all probably have equally awful sad stories and it's just like what the fuck like this sucks and I'm sick of just people being like Oh, I'll make it better. It's like, shut up. Like, I, will you? Will I? I don't know. What can I literally do to make it better? I, I'm trying. I, you know, I got the list of, it took me a while, but I got the list of um, the people that RSVP'd. So I have like a plan for that, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I have the list of people who RSVP'd. So I'm going to do a meetup in LA for those people and anybody else who came to TanaCon that's from LA. I'm going to do a free meetup for them, and then I'm going to hopefully do my next book tour. I'm going to meet up with everybody around the country, and then, but that doesn't fix it. Like, that doesn't, like, it doesn't help. Like, does it help? I don't know. It doesn't take away the fact that they were, like, literally scammed. And I'm not just saying that because, like, I don't even know how, where to see it. This is where, why I keep deleting the videos that I keep <laughs> filming because I don't even know what I'm what I should say. I know it's not my fault because I literally like had no idea what was going on. You know, I like Tana, so I'm like, all right, like I'll go. Like that sounds cool. I hate conventions, but okay, like, you know. <sighs> I just am so mad that it happened. And I'm not even like specifically mad at I'm not like mad at Tana. I'm not. There's no. There's nobody I'm specifically mad at. Obviously, I'm mad that it happened, and I'm like having trouble moving on from that, and I'm having trouble not getting answers. Like why? Why was the convention center? I'm sorry. Why was the hotel lobby so fucking small? If even a thousand people were coming, why was it the size of a bathroom? Okay. And then, of course, you know, me with my fucking conspiracy theories, I'm just thinking, like, I'm thinking a lot of things. And I'm just struggling. I'm struggling to, like, move on from it. I know that sounds so crazy. I know I'm dramatic and, like, not dramatic, I'm sensitive. But I'm just, like, struggling to move on from it. Because I know I can't fix it, really. I know I can try, and I know I can give people... You know, I know Tana's going to give everybody their money back, and I know I'm going to meet a bunch of people, hopefully, this year. But, like, I don't know. I can't take it, I can't take it back. It's not my fault, but I just feel... I don't know. I think w what it was, too, was seeing the videos of, like, people at the, at the actual, like, in the parking lot and stuff. And I guess in my head, it's TanaCon, right? So in my head, it's like, oh, 
it's Tana fans, and then, like, maybe people who will be like, oh, Shane, oh, he's old. <laughs> Shane, he's like my, uh, oh, he's like my uh, grandpa. <laughs> Hi, grandpa. Like, that's in my head what it would be. Um, so when I saw, like, in all the footage of, of the actual convention, I saw, like, kids in pig shirts, and I saw, you know, the, the green shirts, the, the I'll go home shirts, and I saw so many people that were saying they were there to see me, or, oh, I, I came to see Shane, or, oh, yeah, when I found out Shane was coming, I, I was like, okay, I'll fly there, like, I heard so much of that that I wasn't expecting, I didn't think that was the case, but then the more I thought about it, I was like, oh, like, fuck, like, literally, and this is where I'm going to delve into some sh weird territory. But even if it happened, right? Even if Tanacon happened. I want to stop calling it Tanacon because I feel like that's just... I want to stop using Tana's name. Because it's just unnecessarily like throwing her name constantly into this. Even though it is her convention technically. But it's not. Because like so many people were there to see me and other people. So it's kind of like... We were all supposed to make these kids happy, and we all fucking failed. Didn't have control over it, but it happened, right? I'm just going to call it FailCon. <laughs> so, even if FailCon happened, and, you know, it worked, right? There still would have been so many disappointed people because it would be impossible to meet that many people, right? Like, it would be impossible. Like, even if, like, we figured it out, we got the right security, whatever. Like, if, if there was 5,000 people there, it would be impossible for 5,000 people to meet any of their favorite YouTubers because that's a lot of people, so how the fuck would that happen? So then you just have thousands of people who are like, oh... I didn't get to meet Shane or Tana. Guess I'll go home. Like, then what is that? Like, I'm just, like, thinking, like, what was this? Do you know what I mean? I just, and if, it's just too hard to figure out. So that's where I'm struggling. I'm like, how am I going to fix this? Because, like, I can't meet 5,000 people. Where the, how the fuck am I going to do that? Where am I going to do that? Fucking Cheesecake Factory? I've checked. They don't have 5,000 booths. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I think that's why it's fucking me up because I feel like I, I just am struggling to figure it out. There's just also other questions. Like, <sighs> listen, I know, I know everybody involved is, is, you know, trying to make it better but the, I just feel like there's some weird fucking shit that people are going to just ignore and move on from and I am holding back talking about it because I don't want it to somehow you know hurt Tana or or any any of the YouTubers involved but like I don't think there was 15,000 people I just don't I think there's so much about it that's not true it feels like a conspiracy it feels like I'm in a conspiracy I don't fucking buy it I don't buy it and I have so much fucking guilt in me right now and it's so hard for me to sleep because I feel like, I feel like, I feel like people were scammed. And I don't know, I just, and I don't, I don't, I, I can't figure it out. And I've talked to Tana, I've talked to so many people involved and they can't figure it out, and we're all just so confused. I don't know, I don't know anything, right? You know, I know this much. I know Tana, I love Tana, that's it. 
Like, that's as much as I know. <laughs> But, like, I don't think there was 15,000 people there. I think there was 5,000 people there. I think they sold 5,000 tickets. I think 1,000 people went inside the building. And then I think the other 4,000 people were waiting outside and they couldn't get in because there wasn't room. I don't think there was a mob. I don't think it was a bunch of kids with no tickets. I think it was kids with tickets. I think they all bought tickets. I think they all bought tickets, and I think they all literally were standing in the sun for fucking six hours. And I'm sick of pretending like that's not how I feel, because it is. And I want to fix it, and I don't know how. I grew up so fucking poor, and I grew up in L.A., and if I was a kid now, I would have went and I would have begged my mom and she would have like fucking worked an extra shift to get that $70 to make it happen. And if this happened to me and I found out that like everybody's being like, oh, it was fucking, oh, there was 15,000 people. It was a mob. It was crazy. It was all whatever. It's like, I don't know. I just feel like there's some fucking shady, weird shit going on. And I don't want people to stop talking about it because I just want to know what the fuck happened i want to know what i was a part of you know what the f what was i a part of i don't know and maybe i'm just being a conspiracy theorist and maybe that maybe literally there was 20,000 people and maybe whatever but i i met up with so many people so many people that were there um, over the last two days and in person talked to them, met with them. I didn't film it. I didn't, I don't, it was just, I just wanted to talk to them and help them and give them hugs and say sorry and, and shit. And it's just like, I don't know. Anyways, I don't even know why I'm doing saying all this. I just needed to talk about it out loud because I haven't really been talking about it because I feel so confused. And I don't know. Anyways. I hope this is not confusing <laughs> for people who don't know what I'm talking about. But I do know this. I I think there's this, hmm, fuck, sorry, I'm having trouble, I don't want to like, hmm. by the way, this isn't stuff, I don't want it to seem like I'm like, oh, talking shit about the TanaCon situation behind people's back or whatever, because I'm not, I've talked to Tana about all this, I've talked to everybody involved. Everybody has a different story, so it's confusing. That's why I'm also confused, because I'm like, who the fuck is telling the truth? Literally, what is this? Um, maybe I should just do some research on it. Maybe it is a conspiracy. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I've already fallen down so many holes. I literally have watched hours of videos, and... Something is wrong. Like, the actual TanaCon, when you really look at the videos, there's nobody there. It's, like, empty inside. There's, like, it looks like 500 kids inside. Like, that's it. Like, it, it looks kind of, like, empty. But then you see, like, 5,000 kids outside. Like, what the fuck is going on? What is this? Then you look at the actual convention, and it's not even a convention. It's a hallway with nothing in it. And you're like... What was that? Was this whole thing a scam for some weird fucking thing that none of us know about? I don't know. Ooh, it's so creepy. It's just so creepy and weird. But I don't know what the point of the scam would be. Because even if they were, like, just charging everybody 60 bucks times 5,000, it's not that much money. It's not worth it. So it's like, what is that? No, I'm just rambling. Um, 
It failed on purpose. No, I don't think it failed on purpose. I think Tanner really did want it to work. I think she she loves this shit. She loves touring and, you know, meeting fans and stuff. She does love that stuff. So why would she? That doesn't make any sense. So I don't know. I think Tana's confused about it, too. I think that's partially why she didn't respond that fast. I mean, I don't know. I was telling her to respond all day. I think she just was, like, having a hard time. But I think even she's just like, I don't really know what the fuck is going on. Because it just doesn't add up. Do I feel guilty for advertising? Yes, I literally like can't sleep. I feel like such a fucking idiot. Like I told people like, I was, I didn't tell people to come. I was just like, I'll be there. But if people really did come and fly in and like, <sighs> I feel like shit. I don't know, I just, I can't get over it. I just literally can't get over it. VidCon sabotage Tana. No, you know what's so funny? It's actually the opposite. And this is something I might get in trouble for saying. At this point, it's 5 in the morning, so I don't care. VidCon actually was trying to help. Like, I was getting messages and phone calls and emails from people very high up at VidCon, who I haven't talked to in years, because I haven't been to VidCon in years. And they were trying to help. They were like, what can we do? They're like, what, do we, what can we do? Because we don't want anybody hurt. We don't want anybody like. It's just you know. We don't want Tana hurt. We literally we just want everybody to be okay. Of course they wouldn't publicly say that because they don't. They were like we don't want to publicly say anything because we don't want you know. We don't want to look like we're like claiming victory over whatever. Like we don't care. We just literally don't want anybody hurt because we heard that there's like chaos going on. So it's like VidCon, if anything, VidCon has been, like, more helpful than the people that were running TanaCon. <laughs> so then that's where I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? It's just so confusing. I don't know. I think at the end of the day, it was just a bad idea. <laughs> because even if it did work, what is it? Because it wasn't a convention. It was just a meet and greet, but not really. I don't know. I think Tana wanted the best. I just don't. I just, she knows it just wasn't. It just didn't work. So I don't know. Who was behind TanaCon? I don't even know. That's the other thing. It's so confusing. I have no fucking idea. I thought I knew who was behind it, but then now I'm thinking, was were they behind it? Because they seem like they don't know what the fuck they're doing or talking about. So who really was behind it? Could it really have been this 20-year-old kid on a Segway? Like, I just don't buy that. You might not know what I'm talking about. If you watch the videos, you'll see this. The guy who works at the company. Just this, He's so young. And like, I'm like, he can't be in charge. Literally, he doesn't. He's young, too. Who is in charge? Anyways, sorry. This is probably old, old, boring tea at this point. But I just needed to talk about it because everybody around me doesn't want to hear it anymore because I'm, like, losing my mind. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm so lost. What's TanaCon? <laughs> God, I wish I was you right now. I don't know. Anyway. Make a video about the TanaCon situation. I don't want to because I just don't... I, I hate that it's called TanaCon. Because I can't talk about it without it being, like, with Tana a, a part of it. You know what I mean? Because I think it was bigger than her. I don't think it, you know, I'm it's just like, I don't want to just, like, sound like I'm dragging her name. Because I'm not. It's not TanaCon. It's, it's, it's FailCon. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I have the list of the RSVPs, which even that is like, there's only 390 names on the list. I'm like, 
wasn't the RSVP supposed to be 500? Even that's confusing. Like, are these real people? And then I was watching... And then I was watching fucking... Um, videos from kids who said they RSVP'd. And then I looked their name up, and the name their names are not on the list. And I'm just like, is this... Is any of this real? Like, am I in a movie right now? Are we all in a simulation? Who the fuck is controlling the simulation? It's so confusing. I just want to know what happened. And I feel like I never will. And that's what is making me not be able to sleep. So... That's my night. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video with Tana about it. I feel like at that point people just won't care anymore, but I care. Tana isn't making money unless she fucks up. Tana, Tana wouldn't have made money on this even if it worked, I don't think. Thirty, sixty dollars 60 5,000 people, that's not even enough to cover the hotel fees, I don't think. I don't know. Hmm. And <sighs> now I'm regretting even doing this because I feel like somebody's going to turn this into like, I don't know. Last time I did an Instagram live, they called it, somebody re-uploaded it and called it like Shane Dawson Shades, the British twins, or I don't fucking remember. <laughs> somebody who I mentioned. I'm like, God damn, did I say something bad? I don't know. I mean, at this point, I don't even care anymore. I literally am so mad at everything, and I'm so sad and disappointed. And I feel like I wasted not only my weekend, but, like, more importantly, thousands of people's weekend and their money and their fucking time. And I'm just sitting here like, all right, I gotta edit tomorrow. Like, I gotta pretend like I'm fine, but I'm not. I'm, like, losing my mind. I'm mad because I feel like nobody's actually telling the truth. I'm mad because if you watch the videos of the people that were actually at TanaCon, it's not just like screaming little girls like everybody's saying. It's like peop it's an, it's like people t in their 20s who were like what the fuck is going on? This sucks. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Like there's no food here. They didn't let us bring our water in. They weren't checking our bags. They literally didn't check bags. People were walking in with duffel bags and they weren't checking them with no metal detectors. Literally, somebody could have got shot. Like, I'm just thinking, like, one girl I talked to survived a school shooting a few years ago. And she was like, I thought there'd be security there. And nobody was even checking bags. So all I kept thinking is, I'm going to get fucking shot because of my PTSD. And I'm just, like, hearing all of that shit and I'm just like, I can't just let this go. I can't just be like... All right, well, that's over. <laughs> like, it's just not. It just is bothering me. And I don't think Tana knows any of this either because I think she's so, like, overwhelmed that I don't think she's really probably even, like, really fallen down the hole yet. Because when you fall down that hole and you see these videos of all these fucking people and their stories, it's fucked up. It's crazy. There was, like, babies there. Babies who were burning in the sun. I mean, it's probably the parents' fault for bringing babies, but you know what I mean. I do know this. That's why I don't go to conventions. <laughs> I guess I fucking hate them. I hate them because it's just, I don't understand. I just don't, I don't know. It's just loud and people are like never happy and it's just always confusing and hot. <laughs> no matter where it is. I don't know. Anyways. <sighs> Alright. Well, I guess I'll go. I guess I've talked enough nonsense. <laughs> Not nonsense. I don't know.